My name is Jeffrey Carlson, an orthopedic spine surgeon at the Orthopedic and Spine Center in Newport News. One of the questions we get in spine surgery is about sciatica. We see lots of patients that come each day talking about their sciatic nerve being injured or irritated. Patients have different ideas about what the sciatic nerve actually does and where it is. The nerve is actually made of the three nerves that come out of your back and they go down your leg. And they go all the way to the big toe. So back pain is not sciatic nerve pain. When you pinch the nerve in your back, you actually get pain along that nerve root all the way down the leg. It generally goes below the knee. There's sometimes it's not a, a, all the way below the knee, but generally it will go below the knee. Patients always point to their back and say, well, my back hurts, it must be my sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is actually only in those three spots uh, in the back that make up the nerve going down the leg. The back pain itself may be more related to the muscle and tendon in the back or the bone shifting rather than from the nerve itself. After the diagnosis of the sciatic nerve being pressured is made, then the treatment options can begin. Generally, you start with exercise programs, trying to open up that space around the nerve, taking the pressure off the nerve root, holding that, that pressure off the nerve root so the pain goes away. Sometimes that includes exercises with physical therapy and traction, opening that space up. Sometimes some medications can be helpful to decrease the inflammation, the irritation around the nerve root. Those medications can be pills, they can be shots. We do what's called an epidural steroid injection or a cortisone injection around the nerve root, around the disc in the back, to help relieve that irritation and inflammation of the nerve root itself. The last thing on the list would be a surgical procedure in order to take the pressure off the nerve root. Generally, we like to start with medications and therapies prior to proceeding with surgery, because lots of people will get better without proceeding with the surgical intervention.